Hi guys, Pierce here, back with 81st. Our talented scientists and engineers have opened up an interdimensional portal, which we have used to explore the Valkyra Chronicles universe. We've made friendly contact with the nation of Gallia. Currently, the Gallians are under a desperate struggle against the East European Imperial Alliance, which threatens Gallia's sovereignty. Desperate for any new technology or new know-how, the Gallians have entered a negotiation for a technology trade deal with us, the 81st Brick Battalion. We've sent over some lend lease, and they have gifted us this new Gallian light tank. Here are some stats from our testing grounds. Length, 16.31 feet. Width, 7.84 feet. Height, 8.37 feet. Weight, 11.2 tons. Maximum speed of 31 miles per hour. Engine power at max settings, 200 horsepower at 2800 RPM. Power to weight, 17.9 horsepower per ton. Let's take a closer look at this tank. A special feature of this tank compared to all the rest is its power source, Ragnite. Ragnite is a crystal solid-like power source compared to uh, oil, which is more of a liquid type. Uh, looking at this vehicle, it has a very high power to weight ratio, and the engine is very small compared to the rest of the vehicle. This may suggest that uh, a Ragnite engine might provide about the same or even more power than a similar size or larger gasoline engine, which is very interesting. Uh, this does come at the drawback of uh, this power source emitting a whole lot of heat that needs to be dissipated with a radiator. Uh, usually these radiators would um, really emit a large blue glow which might give away the vehicle's position at night but um it also has been proven from field trials seen by um this these tanks in combat that hits to the radiator can result in catastrophic explosions so that is something to be worried about with this power source but something very interesting too this vehicle also has been known to um, have a decent amount of firepower, uh, very good speed, uh, but relatively poor armor. Uh, this vehicle has a primary armament of a Breda 24 caliber 75 millimeter pack gun um, and a uh, 7.92 Irma tank machine gun, coaxially mounted with the main gun. Uh, this combination of decent firepower and great speed uh, makes this tank a lot more suited for hit and run attacks. Um, the design is also rather simple compared to a lot of other designs, uh, making it very cheap and easy to produce. Moving on to the rest of the tank, let's start off with the turret. You have a full 360 degree rotation. Uh, some elevation for the turret with its uh, main gun and its coaxial machine gun. You got extra side plating for the, the commander. Um, and you also have a uh, cupola for him to see out without him sticking out his head like a sore thumb. Um, you got mirrors here for the driver. Um, very nice. You have a navigation light in front two navigation lights at the back. Um, you have the shovel in front. Um, if you have any obstacles in front of the tank, you can use the shovel to clear it away so the tank will have an easier time navigating the roads. Um, if you don't want this shovel and you, uh, you um, want a more stock version of this tank, you can literally go under here, just take off this attachment, take off these two cheese slopes, just drop them off and just replace it with these one by two cheese slopes. Should be a very easy thing to do. Um, here on the sides, you have differently col colored side skirts with the uh, blue markings of Gallia. Um, you uh, can easily take this out. whole suspension system uh, out of universe this design is based off of the pan the, the hull is based off the panzer 2 
uh, which uses a torsion bar suspension. So it's very likely that this vehicle uses a torsion bar suspension. Okay, let's just easily reattach the side skirt here. Uh, back to the engine assembly, you have more storage compartments and a radio. So yeah, that's a quick rundown of this tank. Um, there is one more thing I would like to uh, talk about that goes back to the uh, the main the main gun of this tank. Again, you this this tank is equipped with a seventy five millimeter gun. Uh, it shoots anti armor rounds, AP or armor piercing or uh, high explosive rounds. Um, they use actually uh, in lore uh, Ragnite. Uh, Ragnite can uh, possibly even be more explosive than than our own um, our own gunpowder. So that's something interesting. Um, you see in uh, other parts of Europa in in the universe, you see different versions of this tank. Most notably, you got the Shamrock and you got the Glory uh, from Valkyria Chronicles One and Valkyria Chronicles Four. Um, you have the option of um, putting in different guns. So actually, I have specifically designed the turret and the mount to be easily interchangeable. Uh, I don't have enough pieces for a Gatling mount or a flamethrower, but I, built, I made them digitally, which I'm going to make a digital instructions, which I'm going to release later with a tutorial. You can just easily take off this mount, just leave this here. Just take off this whole mount assembly with the main gun. And the idea is that you would have this uh, other mounting of, of a Gatling gun, which is really great against infantry and possibly aircraft builders, no aircraft in most, most of the part of uh, Mercury Chronicles. You can literally take that entire assembly, put it in, uh, you also have a flamethrower assembly, uh, which is very good against infantry and fortifications. You can also just take that mount out and replace the flamethrower mount in. So yeah, that's that's my design and, and look and uh, testing trials of this tank. And yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I always appreciate any good feedback, uh, constructive feedback. And uh, yeah, please like, share, and subscribe. And like always, catch you later.